right, good morning everyone. Today we're learning about the movable chord grip F. You can play different chords by using one chord grip and moving it around. So here is the chord grip F. Use your middle and ring fingers to finger the F chord. So you're going to leave your index finger on the side like a capo, so or F chord. Remember the chromatic scale, all the notes are one fret apart. So you got A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And as long as you start on the same letter and end on the same letter, all the chromatics are equal. So you can start on B and end on B, start on C, end on C, and so forth. Remember, there are no sharps or flats between B and C. Bake cookies. No sharps or flats between E and F eat food. So we're going to move the F chord, grip up one fret, and bar the first fret with your index finger. You get F sharp. It's like putting a capo on the first fret. Okay, remember what a capo is? Capo is short for capo tasto, which is Italian for head of fretboard. It's that small black tool in the picture. You can strap around the neck of your ukulele to keep all the strings down on the same fret. So essentially, you're barring the strings on that particular fret with a capo instead of your finger. But in this case, we're using our finger. Next, you're going to move the grip up one fret and bar the second fret with your index finger. You get G. It's like putting a capo on the second fret. Move the grip up one fret and bar the third fret with your index finger. You get G sharp. It's like putting a capo on the third fret. Move the grip up one fret and bar the fourth fret with your index finger. You get A. It's like putting a capo on the fourth fret. Move the grip up one fret and bar the fifth fret with your index finger. You get A sharp. It's like putting a capo on the fifth fret. Keep going. If you follow this pattern, you can play 12 new chords with that one chord grip F. This is a way to play alternate chord fingerings and a way to figure out any major chord without having to look Here it up. Here are all of the F chord grips. Memorize the chords you always use. So we start with F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and then lastly, F. Backwards, you get the F, you get the flat names. So a chord can have a flat and a sharp name. That's called anharmonic when you have two different names. So we can have F, then we can have E, E flat. D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, and F. Just the F chord grip going up and down the fretboard and name the chords to yourself as you play them. Memorize key chords you know you use. Right, so here's the F chord grip. You start with F using your middle and your ring. Keep this free to bar. So F, bar the one, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Going back down, we can use the flat names. So we start on the F on the 12. E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, a flat, G, G flat, and F. 